In this video, we give a step-by-step -step process to solve problem number four on the Geometry Plane Figures worksheet. First, I'm going to read the problem. The problem says, parallelogram EFGH has angle E that is three times greater than angle F. If angle G is opposite angle E, what is the measure of angle G? So first we want to draw a parallelogram and try labeling the vertices with the given information. Pause the video now and try doing this. In order to label the parallelogram and its vertices, recall that a parallelogram has two unique angle measurements. And so since the problem tells us that angle E is three times greater than angle F, we now know that angle E must be one of the two larger angles, which is this one and this one. Since they're both the same angle, we will just pick this upper vertex as E. Then we know that angle F must be one of the two smaller angles, which is this one or this one. So we will just say that angle F is the one up here. Now we know that angle G must be down here, and then angle H is this one. We want to find the exact angle measurement of angle G. We know that angle G must be the same as angle E because it is directly opposite of angle E. However, we don't exactly know what angle E is. We only know that it's three times greater than angle F. So the problem is we don't know exactly what angle F is, but we can say um, that angle F is x degrees. We can just assign that as the angle measurement of F. And then we know that E is three times greater than angle F, so we can say that E is 3x. Pause the video now and think of how to solve for angle E by using 3x and x as angle measurements. So now we know that all four angles of a parallelogram sum to 360 degrees. Therefore, we have this equation. We also know that the two angles of one side of a parallelogram sum to 180 degrees. Therefore, we also have this equation. Since the second equation is much shorter and a lot easier to deal with, we'll just use this one. So if we substitute 3x for angle E and x for angle F, we get 3x plus x, which is 4x, which equals 180 degrees. Solving for x, we get that x is 180 divided by 4, which is 45. Therefore, we know that x has an angle measure of 45 degrees. So that means that angle F is 45 degrees. But remember, this problem is asking for the angle measure of g. So g is opposite e, which means that angle g is 3x which is 3 times 45 degrees, which equals 135 degrees. Therefore, the answer is C, 135.